You are listening to From Ring to Veil. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kim. And we are your wedding planning gurus. We take the stress out and put the fun back into wedding planning. Episode number 150, Weddings in Wonderland. Have you subscribed to our show yet? Please subscribe to the show where everywhere you can find podcasts. It helps us move up in the ranks. It lets you know exactly the minute we upload a new show so you do not miss a thing. Wedding themes can be fun. We love wedding. We love theme weddings. Yes. We love to talk about themed weddings because they're easy to get your juices, your creative juices flowing and come up with an idea. So. Yes. You can get out of hand and crazy with it, but yeah. <laughs> that's kind of the fun of it. <laughs> uh, we, we came up with a few that we think are perfect for the, the, the upcoming year um, that we think that you guys might kind of enjoy. So today we're talking about Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Are you a big Alice in Wonderland fan? I I like the concept of it. Mm-hmm. I'm not really, I haven't really watched the movies or read the books or anything like that. So, oh, well, yeah. you didn't but, watch the Disney Alice in Wonderland? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm just not a big fan. I'm more of a dystopian type. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which is kind of, well, I guess it's not dystopia, but it's kind of fantasy-ish. Yeah. You know, kind so. of sci-fi a little bit. So with Alice in Wonderland... You can go two ways with the theme. We have that tea party theme where she was with the Mad Hatter and, you know, the the hair or whatever his name was. What was his name? I don't know. Rabbit? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> and she was at the tea party with the Mad Hatter and all of their guests. And you can do it that way. Or you can go with where she was in where she was at the Queen of Hearts Castle. and She was in the court and you had all of this you know, the cards everywhere, hers are things like that. So mm-hmm. you can just go one either way or you can do different ways to put both of them mm-hmm. together. You could do a ceremony in one and then, then the reception and the yeah. Yeah. So we're going to split it up into like the tea party theme and then the Queen of Hearts theme. Yes. And you know, you watched a year in the life of the Gilmore girls, right? Mm-hmm. So the the last part the wedding mm-hmm. of uh, Lorelai and Luke. So, spoiler alert if you haven't watched it. <laughs> it was kind of an Alice in Wonderland theme. I wouldn't say it's exactly, but it was very reminiscent of that. It was kind of a tea party, kind of a, it was a little fantasy ish. Yes. Something that you, a normal person would not ever have. Exactly. But anyway, <laughs> unless you. <laughs> Watched yeah. that and then took notes and then planned your wedding around that, which yeah. I suggest watching it because it was really kind of cool. So yeah. get you some ideas. All right, let's start with the tea party. The pre-wedding, which means your invitations and things like that. You're having a tea party. So you say that on the invitations. Mm-hmm. So you're invited to a tea party. Of course, make sure they know it's a wedding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can have like your formal announcement for the, the wedding and then like the reception card you can have where you're, you know, you're invited to a tea party and have whatever is going to be on there. Mm-hmm. Well, there are a few different ways that you can um, word all this and make it look. So I suggest go to Pinterest and look up Alice in Wonderland uh, invitations, mm-hmm. wedding invitations. And there's some very creative stuff out there. Even like they, they added caricatures and, and, drawings like sketches and stuff that that really looked beautiful in that and then Mm -hmm. of course your font you want a really pretty font that would go with a tea party font now if you're doing a tea party wedding for your reception you gotta go all the way with this tea party you can't (laughs) halfway do it right that's all i'm saying Mm. now we thought about rehearsal dinner but we're kind of kind of stuck on that what do you think yeah well i mean you can take like some of the themes for the reception and do it for your rehearsal dinner, but it's not going to be because a rehearsal dinner, you need actual, you know, real food. Yes. Yes. Because it's late at night. Most of the time it's after you do your rehearsal. And so everybody's hungry. And so you really kind of need real food for that. Mm -hmm. And so, but you could take some of the decorations that you're planning on for your reception and they can spill over into your rehearsal dinner, like the flower arrangements or things like that. Mm -hmm. So, 
or or pick a a restaurant that's not like that might kind of blend in with it a little bit. I, it's yeah. that that one's kind of a hard one for me. <laughs> but getting into the ceremony and the dress and the core and all that stuff. Now I can get into that. <laughs> yeah. Because it's way over the top. If you, especially if you saw the newer Alice in Wonderland movie with Johnny Depp. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was awesome. He played the Mad Hatter great. Oh yeah. And so you had it was it was more like a clockwork thing because they had a lot of clocks and things. So mm-hmm. your hair, dress, and makeup. Her dress was pale blue. Of course, she had the the apron over it. Of course. So you can have a blue hued wedding dresses right now are really in Mm -hmm. and they're beautiful they are so pretty like the blue underneath and then the lace over over Mm -hmm. laid over the top oh so pretty guys look those up (laughs) because even if you don't do a tea party alice in wonderland theme they're gorgeous look at them look them up yeah i would do you know top hats for guys i would kind of dress them up a little bit more Mm -hmm. like you know add accessories to them like flowers or whatever i mean yes it sounds kind of girly but if your significant other really loves you (laughs) (laughs) he will go along with it bow ties three-piece suits you can have you know your pocket watches and things like that hanging out and Mm -hmm. so it's just awesome and then alice had bows in her hair and you know of course her when she her apron bow you could incorporate bows on your dress if you so wish or in your hair even. <laughs> yeah. The pocket watches, the boutonnieres with watches and keys. Gosh, I just, there's so many ideas going on right now right. for me, <laughs> <laughs> but you could even do little bitty top hat boutonnieres or uh, I mean, just craziness. Um, and the top hats for the guys couldn't, could, they don't have to be the, the straight ones. They can be the wonky ones. Like, Right. What the Mad Hatter did. And I saw some some photos on Pinterest where they were black and white checkered and, and wonky. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just was beautiful. I just loved it. I, I could go on all day. <laughs> okay. So for your reception or for the decors and flowers, again, you can do blue and white and green. Lots of greenery, lots of texture because it was a tea party outside, basically. Mm-hmm. Right. And so you're going to have lots of greenery and so associated with that moss and branches, ferns and branches and all kinds of things. So, but it was kind of more of a softer color. Mm-hmm. And I think it is kind of in contrast of the, like you said, the Queen of Hearts court. They kept mm-hmm. it more of a softer blend. So lots of pastel flowers, um, tea party settings with books teacups possibly hanging like your backdrop could be teacups hanging Mm. books pages things like that that's kind of what was on their table it did get messed up at one point but it was just (laughs) fully fully decorated with teapots and teacups and little foods and stuff like that you can't really bring the food part into the decor of the ceremony but you sure could bring some of that other stuff in Right. So the signage, you could do signage from the books, like saying quotes from the books, because there's a Mm -hmm. lot of great quotes from the books. And we'll have some at the on the show notes for you. Mm -hmm. Lots of lights, maybe clocks, even hanging, hanging timepieces. And you could really get get into the clock thing. Like I saw a picture of aisle decor and they were Mm -hmm. clocks at the end of some of the rows thought that was really awesome lanterns would be good with us this too because the the rabbit in the story was always you know he was always late he was always going to be late Mm -hmm. he was always worried about being late so he always had a watch with them so you know take that clock theme Mm -hmm. and run with it yes cheshire cat smiles now that's a big deal with alice in wonderland i don't know if you would want to incorporate that into your (laughs) wedding or not but i saw a blackboard with just a big smile on it and it you know said something like you know wedding this way or whatever or some kind Mm -hmm. of saying on it i think that was fabulous so on that (laughs) signage throw in a couple smiles or hide them in different places around the the ceremony or even reception area too (laughs) And of course, hats and keys. Everybody wear a hat. Everybody has, you know, put keys in your bouquets, like hanging off the bouquets and things like that. So, yes, some keys and a time, a, a pocket watch would be, oh, I love it. 
for your seating, either during like after the reception or after the ceremony into the reception or cocktail hour, it's good. Or even during the ceremony, you mm-hmm. can have ornate chairs and couches and loungers, but also pull that into your cocktail hour where you can have you know, places for them to sit and you know, coffee tables or cocktail tables with stuff on them that relates to your theme with the, the clocks mm-hmm. and the, the tea party and stuff. So, yeah, really pale if you can find them i know that would be a lot of work to find the loungers and the couches and the you know love seats and all that stuff but there's a but there are a lot of vintage rental places Mm -hmm. now that have the you know the fainting couches and things like Mm -hmm. that that you can rent so (laughs) i just think that would be so pretty okay let's move (laughs) on to the reception food and drink and cake and i mean this is like the tea party it's the most important part and it's a tea party, so you're mm-hmm. going to have you take that theme. I know that's not a lot to eat in a tea party type thing, but you can have different appetizers and you yep. know more hearty sandwiches and lots of things to like them to nibble on throughout. I would think, mm-hmm. of course, have your three tiered you know tea set plate thing with all of the foods on it, and have two or three of them sitting on the table. You really wouldn't need lots of flowers or anything because a tea party is pretty ornate anyway because you have the teapots and the Mm -hmm. cups the tea cakes and cups and all of this stuff on there so so you could do cupcakes in teacups or on saucers Mm -hmm. maybe decorated to make to look like mushrooms because that was one of the things with uh the mushrooms you could do drip cakes, and I saw some really pretty drip cakes with the blue dripped on them. So that would bring your blue back in. Tea cakes, finger sandwiches, traditional tea, you know, scones, crumpets. You have your clotted cream and your lemon curd and all of that incorporated in the food. Bite-sized. Make them all bite-sized. If you guys do one, I would like an invitation <laughs> because I want to go to a tea party <laughs> wedding. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, make everything bite sized. But you, like you said, you could do heartier stuff too. You could do like you know appetizers and all that. Yeah, you could do a tapas bar and stuff like that. It's still bite sized food, but it's more hearty food. So, of course, we said decor and flowers is kind of the same. Bring in what you had from your ceremony into your reception, clocks and very earthy tones mm-hmm. and pastels and texture and things like that. And the books and and all that, yeah. Seating charts. Um, I saw some really creative stuff. I loved, loved, loved the keys and pocket watches with name tags as yeah. the, and then they can take that home as their favor if you if mm-hmm. you want to do that. Um, but the name tag will have where they're sitting and their seat uh, arrangements. Yeah. Also, you have the little drink me bottles. You can have little mm-hmm. bottles that say drink me and then they have the tag on that where they're sitting or whatever, because mm-hmm. that's a big part of the Alice in Wonderland. Or so. you could have them like pick up a teacup and in that teacup is, is where it says that they're going to be sitting or little tea bags that are, are fake tea bags that have mm-hmm. the information on that. So like tea tags, I guess you would say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh gosh, this is so cute. I just love this. I want to do one of these. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> All right, now entertainment. That's truly up to you. DJ, uh, you could find maybe a local band that fits this theme. Because I know a lot of bands have a theme. Sometimes they're steampunk or whatever, but maybe they're mm-hmm. more fant- fantasy ish type bands, which would fit with your theme. So that's, that's where you're going to have to look. Or you could just go with a uh, DJ and have him yeah. throw a couple of the songs from the movie in or something. Yeah. And plus he can dress, as, he can dress with a top hat. Exactly. You know, so he can add to your theme as well. And for the exit, you can be, you know, as simple as you want it. Or you can have like a hot air balloon to take you wherever you need to go. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to leave it a hot air balloon. Or you could do a balloon drop or, you know, make, make it yeah. fun. Make it quirky all right now we're moving in to the queen of hearts themed wedding yes this one's going to be bold and bright and rich and deep colors like when i think of queen of hearts red white and black black yes that's that's who that is 
Harlequin prints, you know, very Baroque, strong black and white prints. Mm -hmm. Lots of red added in there. That's right. So invitations. I mean, what better than a playing card, a huge playing card Mm. um, with, of course, hearts on it. (laughs) The ace of hearts or whatever. And then even your RSVP cards could be many, many uh, playing cards, too. So you just I say play up that playing cards theme. Anywhere and everywhere. Could be chess pieces also because there was chess pieces in her. Right. Her area. So the ceremony, of course, we had, you still do the top hats and stuff, but you make this more of a dark, er, darker theme with the black. Mm -hmm. Bold with the black and the red and the white. Very contrasting colors. Mm -hmm. Um, You have a more of a ball gown feel maybe with your dress with a tiara. Because, you know, she was the queen of hearts Mm -hmm. and she did have a crown and she did have a big, huge dress, even though she was very, very tiny. Yes. (laughs) And you can go with really dramatic makeup with this and go kind of glam and bold, Um, you know, depending on who you are and what you like and what you want to do. You could even make it, I would say, on the lines of costumey if you wanted to. This is something that you could do that with. Right. So, you, as we said, your decor and stuff like that, red, white, and black, roses, really, they, my favorite rose is the Bacara rose, which is a very blood red, almost black rose, and it's gorgeous. We use them a lot at Halloween because they're, you know, kind of mm-hmm. ominous looking, but it would be awesome with this theme, and you can have other reds in there as well, other red roses, too. It doesn't need to be just that one, but mm-hmm. I love that rose, so... Well, and there's roses in the movie, I believe, too. Like, right. that's part of it. Is it and mm-hmm. Plus white roses, too. Yeah. Red and white. I just think that would be a really pretty uh, bouquet and boutonnieres. And mm-hmm. you can incorporate the playing cards into each of those somehow. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe even wrap the, the thinking of maybe there's some way to wrap the bottom of the bouquet with, with uh, playing cards or something. Or I, I don't know. There's tons of things that you could do with that. Cards everywhere. Right. Chess pieces. <laughs> you know, you could do that for your centerpieces. You could have, if, if you might have to make, or you could find vases that that look like chess pieces or something. The castles mm-hmm. specifically. I think those would be perfect for that. The playing card suits. So you could you you could incorporate not just the red hearts but the spades and clubs and diamonds also um you could add those to like your tablecloth you could find a tablecloth that eat what what's the one that looks like checkered but it's they're they're more diamonds it's the harlequin pattern oh yes harlequin duh yeah. <laughs> it's like i can't think of that word <laughs> you could do that as as part of it uh, of mm-hmm. your um your tablescape i guess is what you would call it I guess like we kind of mixed that. So we kind of mixed that up. The the decor and flowers for the ceremony. We're kind of getting to reception too. Sorry, I got yeah. a little bit. It's excited okay. I'm there. like, where are we at? <laughs> anyway, for the for the seating for the ceremony and your cocktail hour, and even you can incorporate this into your reception. Um, they do have those clear lucite chairs now, mm-hmm. and you can decorate them with you know add the roses and all of that to them, or you can have like black and white lounge wear in the in the cocktail hour so they have somewhere to sit and things like that Mm -hmm. also with your reception chairs you can use the the acrylic or lucite clear chairs the ghost chairs is what they're called Mm -hmm. and or you can have some white ones i know there's white chairs and black chairs and just contact your real company and see what they have and see if you can add that to your theme of course chair covers and then the ties that go on the back Mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff you could really really work that and if you if you really wanted to get into it on each chair you could add some kind of decor too yeah just depending on how much time and money you want to spend (laughs) (laughs) again you can get crazy with this right and so for the food and drink and cake you're at a when you think you're at a castle and they're serving dinner Mm mm-hmm Think about, you know, everything that you've seen during the medieval times. They have large, large mills with large birds and pheasants and all, you know, really rich food and, you know, fruit and all of this stuff. So I would make it kind of like that. I agree. Yeah. Like turkey legs. And I'm just kidding. (laughs) Hey, you know, that's. 
you could do that. Yeah, you yeah. Could. It would be kind of fun. You're not actually. on a turkey leg. It's in in mead in the. What yeah. Are the, what kind of cup glass? Or the steins. Steins. Yes. There you go. Metal steins. That would be awesome. You could probably even throw in some of those mule cups, because if you like mule. Okay, decor and flowers. You know, pretty much what we said above, but you know, get very dramatic with it with your tablecloth and your in your chair decor and. You can have black faces with you know, tall black faces with spilling out with red and white roses and greenery and all of this stuff. Just really make it ornate. That's that's the big part with the Queen of Hearts theme is you make it really kind of ornate. Yes, because she is that way. She's very yeah. Old she's and, very over the top. Yes. Yes. Go go crazy with it. So seating charts. Again, playing cards. And -hmm. then I would go with all hearts on that. (laughs) Um, Of course, you could throw in the other ones, too, if you wanted to. But I think that would be a really awesome one. Now, chess pieces with tags on them that show you where where you're sitting. You can. And so for the entertainment, so you're at basically a castle. They usually have string quartets or, you know, Mm -hmm. things like that. And so I would go along with that. And if you ever watched like Rain or anything like that, you know, those string quartets can play modern music. That's true. (laughs) That would be awesome. They played all modern music in Rain during their parties and like, wait a minute. I know that song. (laughs) It was perfect. I loved it. (laughs) Oh, yeah. That's that. Absolutely. That would be so cool. Yeah. And then we don't really have anything for exits. I can't. I couldn't think of anything that would make a good exit other than like. I mean, like a sparkler exit or something yeah. like that. Something very dramatic and over the top. So. Yeah. I was thinking. Fireworks. Like the Wicked Witch. You know how that poof, you know, <laughs> there was, there was yeah. all that smoke and then they were gone. You know, you could try to do that too if you wanted to. But so we, we decided to add in some quotes from the movie and you mm-hmm. could use these things on signage or in your vows or on tables, anywhere really, just to add a little more um, Alice into your right. into your wedding. Yeah, so we'll have those listed on the show notes. Which you so. can find at from marinetavale.com slash 150. And then there's a link to find more if you want to. So next month we're going to have a sports themed wedding show for you. So if you're both of you or you and your significant other are really into sports, like I know a lot of people are talking about the Astros right now because it's the, you know, the World Series. We'll have some great tips for some sport themed weddings. There you go. (laughs) Look for that next month. All right. Now it is. It's listener question time. So we got an Instagram message. And we wanted to share that with you today. It says, hello, I recently got engaged and found your podcast and started listening and find them very useful. Thank you so much. I've only gotten through a few episodes, but I am wondering if you have any planners slash notebooks slash binders. So when I say planners, we don't mean people planners. We mean (laughs) book planners. Book planners. In mind to help stay organized. I want to take notes and keep everything in one place. I've seen The Knot has one available. Do you have any other recommendations? Thank you very much. We love The Knot one. Mm-hmm. We we reference The Knot one a lot. Much. All the time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, everything in The Knot one is tabbed just so you can, you know, go through there and find what you're looking for. You open that up. It has checklists and budget sh- worksheets and all kinds of things in there. And you can keep, and they have little pocket folders where you could put everything in the pockets that you need, like receipts, contracts with your vendors and everything like that. So we, that's the one I really like. The next one is the wedding planner and organizer by Mindy Weiss. It's laid out very nice. I looked at this one. It's the information is easy to find. It has checklists and spreadsheets and budget, you know, checklists and all this stuff. So that one's really cool. And the Practical Wedding Planner by Meg Keen. It's more of a book. It's not really a binder. So, I mean, you can't really keep things in it, but it has budget sheets and checklists. It has vend- vendor planning and you can has questions you can ask. Plus, it keeps things realistic because it has budget, budget saving tips and tricks in it. Um, but she really kind of 
makes you think about what you're doing and say, can I afford this? This is what something would cost and, you know, things like that. So it's, that's a really good one to have if you're on a budget budget. So there's three. Those are the ones we like, or at least I like. Yeah. <laughs> if you're, if you're into books and, and you need right. something physical, then those are our top three. Yeah. You can find some apps if you're into apps, and that's probably the way I would go because that's more of my. <laughs> I just I just like everything online. I like to keep it all straight on like that on my yeah. phone or or my tablet or whatever. Um, one is called Wedding Happy Wedding Planner, and I uh, looked through this and it looks really cool. There's all you know. You've got tasks. You've got payments. You've got your home. You uh, you go through and fill it out. And I think you can can even add your budgeting into this. So it will kind of mm. keep you on track. It just looks like a really cool one. I didn't use it myself just because, you know. Of course, the, the Knot has wedding planning stuff, too, when it comes to apps. So it might, it might possibly work in conjunction with the planner and organizer. And then if you just look up wedding planner in your app store, you'll find a few more. But the, the wedding happy wedding planner looks really awesome in my opinion so i hope we answered your question yes thank you so much for your questions guys please remember you can reach us anytime by emailing us info at from com, and again reach out to us through facebook or twitter or instagram even pinterest you can send messages through just whatever you guys feel comfortable with please let mm -hmm. us know we love answering your questions, and please keep them coming. Yeah, and there will be a Pinterest page for the Alice in Wonderland themes. So yeah, we'll put that link on there so you can check that out too. Please remember to subscribe to the podcast. That we're on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, and YouTube, and any other place you can find podcasts almost. So just check us out. And until next time, no stress, no worries. Keep calm and listen on. Thank you for listening to our podcast. You can find us on Facebook, From Ring to Veil, on Twitter, at From Ring to Veil, and on our website, fromringtoveil.com. Music provided by bensound.com.